Hi you guys! I know it's been a while. Well, I feel like it's been a while since I've done a video. But today I plan on doing a review on this. The Electric City from L'Oreal Cosmetics. So this is, it's a very long palette. Like, like it's very long. But, um, so same thing for the inside. You, it does, that's like raised right there. And it's got your little plastic as always. Reflective. No mirror, it's just that. But look at these. Like the intensity. And today I do want to do a rainbow look. I have had such a day. I went to work and might have handed my keys in. It's just, it was a hectic kind of day. And it could have gone better. So that, that that's a thing today. <laughs> but. Okay, that's not the point. We're going to do makeup. We're going to do some makeup therapy. Basically what I'm calling it because I need to have a nice little therapy day here. But let's get started. We're going to do... What are we going to do? We're going to do purple. No, we're not. What shall I do, you guys? This is always so hard for me to pick. I might do two eye looks. So we'll start with this one, which is laser. And I'm going to start here on this eye. And really just build it up as much as I can. It's very pigmented. Like, wow. I think that might be the best lime green I have ever put on my eyelid. No exaggeration. And I do want to build it up. Just keep adding that color to it. And just keep on. Okay. And I do want to go in with... Ooh. Spitting everywhere, you guys. I'm sorry. And then next, I do want to go in with... We'll do this light one. This Astro. That nice sky blue. Also picking up pretty well, like wow. Lovely. I like this. This is nice. And I am like patting patting it on and then brushing, brushing. So far very nice light look. And then I do want to go in with Nova. Which is a very limish green. What kind of look am I doing? Who knows? Who actually knows? That one is harder to build up as you can see. But it's getting there. You see that? Okay, so we have that. And then I do want to go in with Galaxy. The orange. That's what we're going to finish this side off with. Tuck it in to this corner as such. Get it nicely in there. So we have that nice subtle look on this side. This side over here, in order for it not to be too overwhelming, we are going to start with Pandora. This one. I'm going to start out here. It's already very pigmented and very bright. So we're going to start on this side. We're going to do this. Pack it on. And I did prime my eyes today a little with the um, Elf Putty Eye Primer. We got that one going. So we have that. And then I do want to go in with... I'll do Gravity. That one. It's like a purpley pink. Not as dark as the other one. The other purple that's in this palette. 
but it does have some color in there, so we're going to do this. As such, yes, and then I do want to go in with um, Mars, that one. We're going to go in here. I know it's a crazy look. But it's a nice palette and I want to try as many of these colors as possible. And to see if I can create a gradient. Because gradients are awesome. I have to be careful because I have like a white outfit on. You can't see my outfit. But it's like white with stripes. There you go. <laughs> like, let me lift it. And then I'm going to go in with Sorrows. <laughs> I stabbed my eyebrow. But we're going to go in with Sorrows really get some on there and put it here as such and that's a really nice yellow like wow okay so do you see what's going on mm -hmm. very nice very pretty Ooh. okay and then i know you're technically not supposed to be doing dark colors on your like bottom lash line but today we are today we are because let me see no, well, we still have white. So actually, what I'm going to do is use this white aura. I'm going to actually use that in the center. Bottom lash line here. Oh, I'm going to try. You see how powdery this is? This one's very powdery. Ooh, it looks like smoke coming up. But it's on both sides, okay? You can see it more on this side. Right here. And then you can on this side. So, like... Let me try to pat it on. Like so. Okay. So, we're gonna use Cosmos. On this side. So I think this is the one I didn't use, and I'm going to do it down here. And really bring it over. And then, for the other side, I'm going to go in with Orbit. And it's going to be on this side. As such. And then, I believe, I didn't use Calypso. And that one I'm going to use on this side. There's a fly. Did you see that fly? Like that. And we're going to connect it. Connected it, but then we'll go back in with Aura and do this little number. Okay, and then I am going to cheat. And because I believe I've used every color in this. And I'm going to use Astro. That one. And use it on this part of the eye. Maybe I should use the green. Yeah, I'll go with laser. I'm going to go back up with laser. And use that here. Like that. And then use the white. Again, just lighten that and connect them. As so. Like that. But, like, you see how that color is and it looks pretty nice. But you can. I'm going to grab Nova with the very... Intense, flat brush, intense, it's not really intense, it's just a flat brush. And add that on to see if I can build it a little bit more, which it looks like it is. It's building it nicely. But I'm like, there's no problems with seeing the colors on any of these. This one's, and there's some splotchiness, I think that's just from not blending it out properly. I think that's what that is. We did Pandora, right? Pandora. That's what we did. And then we did Gravity. Right? We did Gravity. And then 
we did Mars. I'm just trying to get that blend up. That that little spot here to look better, you guys. Like it's bugging me. Look at that. And then that one's a lot higher than the other one, so let's go again. Laser, get. Let's try to get my eyes at least even. At least, right? Like so. But, like, let me get this sponge and even this one out because this one goes up too high. Okay, so we got that like this, and then I'm going with a thick brush. Thick brush. I'm looking at my other phone because it looks like I have a missed something, missed call, mixed notification. Might be one of the kids. They're other grandparents today since I was at work and then work didn't go the way I planned and then I got mad. And my anxiety and my stress and my depression all worked against me and I turned in those keys. Because I'm like, this is not the type of work environment I want. So, the things just went downhill all of a sudden. I don't know where. But that's how it goes sometimes, you know? You know? Alrighty then. Okay, and now we're going to be dramatic. We've got to be dramatic. And we're going to do eyeliner. But first, line the waterline. And as always, you guys know I do the black eyeliner. But you could use a nice nude color to make it pop. You could use a color liner of your choice. I'm sorry, I know it looks weird when I do a waterline. I'm just scared I'm gonna poke my eye out. Like, anyone else? Anyone else like terrified you're gonna poke your eye out? Because <gasps> I am. Okay, so we do that. And I'm gonna use my press on lashes. So I am going to line with my adhesive liner today. So that's what you're gonna see now. It's the adhesive section of it. Like this. Have this section done correctly, please. More have it done correctly. But either way, while I'm doing this, how's everyone else been doing? How's your job been treating you? You know, how's, how is life? Let's share and bond as human beings. But no, let me see. The reasoning behind me finally, well not finally, because my job was actually pretty good. But what made me crack today is, um, you know those Facebook memes where they're like, Dog, oh, she'd be leaving that one cashier to drown. And then they're like, and she got to make the balloons. Well, that was me today for an hour. But, like, I'm not a cashier. I'm in management. So I'm supposed to be able to have my cashier. Normally, I'm really good about being up there with them. Like, I'll be up there with my cashier, and I'll be drowning with them if we're that busy. Like, we will both go down. Like, I am there for my cashier. But, no, today, there was no one else except me literally in that building. And they were expecting me to do that and be okay with it. And I was like, no. And if you do that and you're able to do that, or, you know, you don't really have a choice but to do that, I feel for you. No no establishment should be treating it like that. That is not a one-man job. And definitely not. So, yeah. I got mad. I left my keys on the desk. And walked out. Of course, the other manager was there. I wasn't going to leave her stranded once she her shift started. Because she wouldn't have had a cashier either for like about 30 minutes or so. But I'm like, I can't leave you. You, you. It's not your fault. You didn't make the schedule. You're not the one that called out. You're not 
the one who hired the people that called out, you know? Like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave her, so I stayed. But I did end up. Once she got her cashier in for her shift, I quit. I left my keys there. I just, I can't. Because I did call my superior, quotation mark, and I told her, I'm like, hey, I need this and this and this happened. What do I do now? And she kind of ignored me. But when I sent that text of, like, I'm leaving my keys, I'm turning them in. Oh, yeah, she called back fast when I did that part. Funny how you won't answer when I need your help, but you will answer when I'm about to leave and you realize you're going to be stranded. But I did talk to her, you know, I was like, explained my side, the way I saw things, why the job no longer benefited me, because that's what the job's supposed to be, you guys, the job's supposed to benefit you, it's not supposed to add stress to your life, the job is supposed to help you, help you with your, um, bills and your stress and everything, a job is supposed to be good. Okay? Like, don't let society tell you otherwise. A job is supposed to help you and improve your quality of life, not do the opposite and bring you down. But that's exactly what was happening here. And I'm like, I already have anxiety, I have depression, I have this and that, and I don't want to be here stressing even more over something I literally have no control over other than my decision of being here willingly. And so it came down to, I just left. I couldn't, I couldn't keep doing that to myself. Not any longer. I'm just relining the sections that I might have covered up with my eyeliner when I was doing the final touches. But yeah, that, that, that was my day today. And I did consider, like, maybe it's just my depression talking, and maybe it is just my anxiety and everything, and the stress finally getting to me. Um, but at the same time, you know, I have the kids to think about. Like, I should be home with them, right? I mean, my boyfriend could stay home with them too, but he does. He literally does. He spends more time with them than I do, and that kind of hurts. Retail is a very demanding job. And I understood that, and I could make it work for a little bit, because I had babysitters and stuff like that to help me out, but now I don't. Now I don't. My main babysitter is my mom, and she's still in the hospital, and even when she gets out, she's going to be on an oxygen tank. And I'm not going to put that stress on her. I'm like, hey mom, here are four kids. You can watch them for eight hours, maybe longer, if the shift doesn't go as planned. I can't do that. Makeup therapy, you guys. Makeup therapy. It's helping. It's helping calm me down and think everything. And talking to you guys. How it's helping me see things clearly and think things through. You know, like, am I making the right decision for me and my family? Is this what we all need here? And you know what? It is. It really is. I can't be doing this to my kids. I can't be, you know, prioritizing a job over them. Especially when Dustin's so willing to, like, you know help with that what color lashes should i do uh, you know i'm gonna use indie beats lashes because she's got some nice ones i'm gonna use this one that has like well i could use yeah, this one i'm gonna use this one it's got a nice hint of green in there it's a nice thick lash band sticking it on mm. Pressing, pressing, please curve, pressing, gotta make sure I got it correct on there, got the form right, there we go, so there's that one. Also, you know, my kids aren't staying little forever. I'm missing out on that, too. 
home life's not like it used to be where I could just get up with them whenever and go to the park. Go swimming, go this and that. Dramatic. Ooh. Oh, Indie Beats. These, these are good lashes. I like her lashes. It's a small indie brand. And I'm trying to get my lashes, my own natural lashes, to stop rebelling and actually blend. You see that nice little green? Flirty green. I love it. I know, I think I've mentioned them before. But, um, yeah, that, that's my situation right now. I need to find a lip liner. I'm sorry if I'm sticking my butt up or in your guys' face. Don't mean to. Really, don't mean to. So, I'm gonna light my light. Can align my lips? At least attempt to. It's something, right? Okay. Don't judge me. You guys know I'm horrible at lining my lips. Like, I don't know why. Hey, look at this. Look at that. We're missing this whole top part. Look. something it is something okay and then i think i'm gonna go in with this maybe let me see if it'll help I don't know. Like in person, it looks better than it does on camera. You ever, like, that ever happen? You know, you take a photo, you're like, ooh, no. And then you look at person, you're like, I don't know, man. I felt like I looked good. I guess not. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe because my lining skills are bad? Hmm. <laughs> But this is it for the eyes for sure. I like the way the eyes turned out. My lips are always like the iffy part. The lips are the hardest part in my opinion for me. For me. Anyone else? Anyone else? Like getting the lips right is nearly impossible for me. Clean them up a bit. Hmm. I don't know, man. My lips look big, though. But that's not the point I'm trying to do here. Like, let me take this off so you guys can see what the completed look looks like together. Other than the lips, that's the only thing that I'm like, hmm, what should I do about the lips? Like, let me show you. And we'll pull you guys in, like, this direction, I guess. Like this. Or maybe not. Does that help? Here's the eyes. Look, look at my lash. I'm not doing what I want it to. It's not lined up correctly. Like, today's not my day. Like, see, look, look. Normally they stick on just great, just wonderfully, but not today. Maybe it's just one of those days I just was not meant to do makeup today on my eyes or anywhere. But I like the eyeshadow. Like this is a review on the eyeshadow mark. Like focus. Okay, so here's the eyeshadows. Here's their quality. 
very nice, very pretty look for the eyeshadow. It's very pigmented. Like I'm shaking you guys everywhere. I'm so sorry. How rude of me. And then I feel like I'm about to drop you guys. Yep. There we go. Okay, now. Now that I got you guys all nice and settled and everything. So, I did end up using every single shade in this palette. As you can tell, look at the... There's barely any dips. And you can't really see anything in there. And this is the pigmentation that you get. Very light strokes, very nice. Um, Lorella is also where I got my vanity from. Let me see if I can just switch this. No, I can't. I was like, if I could switch the camera, I would show you guys the vanity mirror that I got from them. It's very pretty, very lovely. Like I said, this is a big palette. Though, like, it is a big palette. Like, comparison here. Like, it is big. It is nice. It is good and everything. It's not heavy. It is slim. And, like I said, wonderful. Try them out if you want. I will try to remember to add the link in when I do my description down below. And all in all... It's a nice rainbow palette. It's good. It's definitely only a rainbow palette. It doesn't have any nudes in there. Or neutrals. Like, white. White is not, okay? White is a, one of those primary colors that is used for bases, emphasis, lightening shades, transitioning shades. So, I don't consider that a nude or a neutral. But, here we go. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked my rant. Tell me what has happened to you at your workplace lately. Has stress been high? Has it been easy? Has it not? Press like, share, subscribe, follow along. Like, just talk. Whatever you want to do. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!